So this is our U5 prawn with uh, Zatar Verde sauce. Oh, this dish is going to be eaten outside over here? Ooh, fantastic. Mm. Our date salad. We wanted to showcase this incredible ingredient, date salad. Don't leave anything on the plate. What's up, chef? Oh, this is amazing. We are, where, first of all, where are we? Because today is a special night because tonight is the prequel for the latest, hottest Emirati restaurant yet to open. And you are involved in? Garbu. Garbu is, is a term that we use when, you know, when we sit at a table or when we sit on the floor and we want to eat, we tell people Garbu. And it literally means get closer. And it's yeah. a term that you tell people when you say, come, come, and, yeah. eat, come and eat with me, you yeah. know? So Welcome. Garbu, that's it. Welcome, that's the Welcome. name of the restaurant. And Chef Sahar has been involved in menu making? Yeah, menu development, uh, pastry menu, all around experience. So, pre opening oh. basically. Mina's 50 best, <laughs> Mina's 50 best right here, pastry chef. It's amazing. I'm super excited because we're one of the first that's gonna eat this food. Yeah. That's number one. The restaurant is not opening for some time. We don't know exactly when that's gonna happen. It's not open yet. Yeah. This is the secret supper, and like I said, the prequel yeah. to the hottest new Emirati restaurant in. Town. I'm excited. We're at a house somewhere yeah. and we're doing Come the secret supper you. in the house. Oh, okay. Little oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, did they lock me out? Hodia Hledar. Hodia Hledar. That's the other thing that you say when you want to be let inside the house. And uh, it just lets people know that there's somebody at the door. But let's see who is letting us in. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. How's it going? Are you ready for us? Yes. All right. Look at this. What's up, Uther? How's it going? Oh. And he makes the best coffee ever. And kombucha. Thank you. Well, oh, <laughs> kombucha. And there we go. This is the name of the restaurant and the logo. Can you explain this logo, sir? So this is basically uh, the sun or the moon, the sky, the sand dunes, oh, all of it together. All of it together, son. Yeah. The waves also represent like Baby, you my sun and moon, you my valentine. I don't know the words, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. How's, it going? How's everything? Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. All right, another guest has arrived. Woohoo, we get a cup of house-made broth. First and foremost, please allow me to, uh, to welcome you. So this is our welcome drink. So we wanted to, uh, to create a compost broth out of all the vegetables and some of the aromas that you will find throughout your, your dinner tonight. We wanted to, to open your palate, so it's very refreshing. We add vegetables and spices and ginger, kefir lime leaves, chilies, lemongrass. It's, it's a real thing and it's, it's um, not only very soothing and warming, but it's there to open your appetite for what is to come. Please enjoy. Thanks, Chef. I'll take that from you too. <laughs> awesome, thank you. That was amazing. You tried it already, honey? Excellent. Yeah? All right, so it's a vegetable broth. This is the first course right here, and it's given to you in a teacup. Once again, all the branding of Gurbu on the cups, on the saucers. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that's potent, but it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, got the, it's got the lemongrass thing. Yeah. Lemongrass. Ooh, yeah. It's very nice. Excellent. It gets you like right in the throat quickly, but in a good way. And it's not warming you up, so I thought Yeah, woo, this is nice, this is amazing. And it's got the Arabic flavors yes. with a little bit of something you twist in there, which is yeah. like Cleans up your, like, your entire tract and everything like that. It's fantastic. Look at that, let's take a quick look up on top over there. It actually looks 
like green tea, but is not green tea. How are you doing, Simone? So this is Simone. She's one of the guests over here today. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Simone, we haven't met. What, what do you, are you in the food industry as well? Uh, yes, for Hotel and Catering Magazine, I'm the editor. Oh, amazing, amazing. Nice to meet you. And this is the Bedouin foodie, Hani, over here, very well known over here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, seconds. <laughs> then you know it's good. I have friends called all your diets. It's going to be a, a very long course. Yeah. And it's a lot of food. Super, we're excited. As Ms. Poncelli said, my name is Yonan Katao. I will be the head chef for Yelbu restaurant. During this time, I have worked with some of the finest people in the industry. Atelier House, Sahar, the artist, because there is a lot of unsung heroes. It's not just me, it's not just Sahar, it's a collective of people that hopefully will make tonight very memorable. And we really hope that you will enjoy our, this experience tonight with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Sahar Al Awadi, so I'm uh, just here to keep, you know, company basically. Uh, but it's been great to work together for the last three, four months to develop the menu for um, for Dubu. For our first formal course, we wanted to to create a maze board but different. So we wanted to bring things that are loved by everyone, but what our own twist. So we have decided to uh, make lab name with Gaff Honey, because Gaff was the first thing I fell in love with when I came to Dubai. And Zatar, we have made a hummus with uh, lamb ragu that we add dates and local sp uh, uh, spices, emzar. And we made a baba ganoush with curry leaf and pine nuts. And on the sides, we marinated some olives with pomegranate and mint and spices, and the other olives are crispy. So we made the yesterday bread cracker, but we made it a little bit different because we made the first mushroom stock with mushroom from Bello Farm, the best mushroom ever. And then we, we made a puree, we made a cracker out of it, and then we, we seasoned them with Sunelli Cunelli, which is a spice blend from Georgia made out of blue fenugreek. On the side, it needs no introduction. I think everyone is the most, is um, such a loved thing in here. Our Kamir bread made by the extremely talented Sahar. So this is our Kamir bread. This is walnut stuff as well. Olives stuffed with walnuts. Amazing. This? A little bit of a sneak eat of this one a little bit earlier. Mm. Super nice and crunchy, but we do want to get a little bit. So a little bit of hummus on that. A date salad. We wanted to showcase this incredible ingredient, date salad. We just wanted to have layers on layers on layers of flavor. So we made a, a tagine puree on the base with uh, Yemeni zug, dates, pomegranate, toasted almonds, heritage carrots, which from the trim of the carrots, we juice it and we cook the carrots in the juice. So nothing goes to waste on this dish. So please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Kale, dates, I love that. So many flavors and so many textures over there. You got that deep, sour, you got that sweetness, you got that crispiness, you got that crunchiness, you got that smoothness. It's just a, a concoction of flavors that just work very well. How do you feel? I love it. I love my hands here because you're thinking about everything that is mixing around in your mouth and you can feel all those flavors. Oh, super nice. 
Don't leave anything on the plate. I know people who like have even eat the vegetables that touch. Don't leave anything on the plate. I know people who like have even eat the vegetables that touch. Don't leave anything on the plate, especially the first two courses, because that's where all the veggies and the good stuff is. Not that the rest of the courses aren't good, but these are the things that you need. about fresh off the what, seven others <laughs> Kevin in the house as well what's up man <laughs> when I came to Dubai on the first of May I discovered an ingredient an Emirati ingredient that was really like shocked me labne in all my travels all the countries I visited Martin I have never had labne before and I said this ingredient I really need to try to make it justice so what we did is we took a variety of cabbages, hispy, white cabbage, and the main piece of cabbage, we brine it in a dill brine, and then we barbecue it to resemble like how, I wanted to create that feeling when you are in the desert and you eat an open fire and all of this. That was my, I, was, I wanted to, to, re, to almost give you that comforting thing with the cabbage and feta. Again, a very simple ingredient, but it brings the saltiness to the dish that it needs it. The labne, uh, we made a sauce with labne and fermented cabbage and dill and walnuts. So they are very known Emirati flavors and they're all locally sourced. But the way we have done it, I really hope, because at the end of the day, this is a vegetarian and we wanted to really stand out against everything. So please enjoy. Thank you. That is not we expected. The cabbage is charred so well. The flavor has subdued quite a bit. And what you've got is a tanginess and a crispiness and a charriness. It's beautiful. It's not what I expected. Like I said, it's kind of like layers of wafer. So it's kind of like they turned that cabbage into layers of thin wafer. And then there's all that, that cheese, feta, uh, tahina, and all that sort of stuff in there. We got those walnuts as well. So it's kind of like a savory millefeuille, but made with cabbage and cheese and tahina and walnuts. <laughs> it's genius. Oh, that's amazing. Kombucha. It's the kombucha, right? The one you made me taste? I, I tasted it. I came super early, so I tasted oh, all sorts of stuff. Taste. Yeah, this is... I'll let you do the explaining. I'm sure you'll do a better job than me, but... Melon, hibiscus, and ginger, and... Uh, giving away the ingredients. One more thing. Crunchy <laughs> bread. Yes. What is that? Sourdough bread. So yesterday oh. bread. So, so we make a mushroom broth. The, we bleach first. We spread very, very thinly. Like very, very thinly. We dehydrate for 24 hours and then we, we deep fry. Uh, the next course is not vegetarian. I just would like to know. For our next course, uh, we have uh, lamb imam bayaldi, but cooked Emirati style with dates, bizarre spice blend, cooked 48 hours, like very, very slow cooked. The bizarre spice, we make it in house. The dates are grown in our farm. Uh, garlic yogurt, crispy shallots, crispy leeks, and togarashi on top. Please enjoy. Ooh, Thank you. A bit of Japanese there on top, not to go right. Just, just, just a bit. Nice. Okay. Okay. It's very light, yeah, I was gonna say, that's our first meat dish, but quite light. That eggplant is the bulk of the flavor. It's nice, it's very creamy. <laughs> To read the description on that dish because of lamb imam bayildi <laughs> crispy eggplant discs with Moroccan lamb ragu crispy onion and a hint of togarashi that's interesting I got the eggplant right the lamb is quite quite light this crispiness is amazing good dish good transition from the vegetarian into the meats and now 
we get the main meat dish next, which is a Wagyu kebab. Kebab must be super hot, chef. Your fingers? It's okay. Who needs fingers? <laughs> so, for our next course, um, a collaboration actually between me and uh, Miss Panchali, we wanted to create a very comforting dish that no matter where anyone is from that we will all love. So we have created black lime marinade to marinate our beautiful locally sourced beef. It has a lot of local flavors. We wanted to highlight the use of black lime. This was another uh, ingredient that was new to me that I haven't encountered before and is used in most Emirati households. Uh, we added bizarre spice, cumin. First we slowly confit the beef and then we finished on the on the charcoal barbecue. And on the side what you have is some sumac onions and lime. We would suggest the kebabs are hot, squeeze some lime, put some onion, uh, remove the scrivers and start use your hands and please go for it. Oh, this dish is going to be eaten outside over here? Yes, here. Ooh, fantastic. First things first, you have to have one on its own. Don't make a sandwich to start with, guys. Oh, you did. You made a sandwich straight up? <laughs> one on its own. Mm, nice. Yogurt marinade? No. Feels yogurty, but it, there's no yogurt. It's the barbecue. Nice. Pickled onions. Sometimes you eat the raw ones also. <laughs> yeah. And this is also the beautiful area. And we'll be having our own barbecue massive pit and there will be a communal table, a uh, chef's table where people he will be cooking a lot more outdoors in winter and interacting. Um, there is the new down pits also where baking and cooking will be taking place. Mm. Everybody's very quiet. What do you guys think? Good? Yeah. Mm. 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 Kebab, kebab. Yeah. Kebab Bahraini. Kebab Bahraini. Mm -hmm. Same. Thank you. Ooh. How is everything so far? Excellent. I'm really glad to hear. Uh, for our next course, we have an Akawi and Panini Pakora uh, that, uh, with the spice blend that we make in house. And on top, we wanted to, to play on Fatouche, but our own take. So we wanted to make, uh, to get a, a collaboration between Ms. Manchali, Sahar and me, uh, red Fatouche. And from, every, from all the trim, we have made a salt out of all the trim. And the dressing that the salad is dressed in is also made out of the, uh, the leftovers from this salad. And you will find below, it's a mixture of an Emirati dressing and tomato chutney. It's, it's a fusion, it's like a crossover between Indian and Emirati food that we believe it really complements this dish very well. It is vegetarian. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. It's spicy though, yeah. No, it feels like a, it feels like a fish. A little bit of sparkling water to cleanse and retaste from scratch, because that's what you can do. And another piece over here, lots of crunchiness to that. Mm. Look at that. Got some radishes as well. We got tomatoes, we got pomegranate seeds, cherries, we got red beets, we got leeks, you got onions. Oh my god, there's like probably 20 things in here. Amazing. Oh, this 
some spice in my mouth is actually on fire. I'm gonna pause on that one, the rest of it. Just because there's a few more dishes left. Ooh, look at that, the spice on that. And if you look in our uh, beautiful pots in the garden, you will find some of the herbs we have used in this, uh, in this sauce. Brilliant. Did you let that, those prawns just sit in, sit in that, that uh, marination or did you cut the stomach and, and it looked like it was attached to it quite well? Those... It, it, we marinated it before. We marinated it before and we, we very tightly in, in, in put them, so like the marinations everywhere. Okay, so like this. Plus, did, you, did you what, did you, you didn't vacuum, vacuum no, we pack didn't, it? No, no. Okay. We, we, did, we did cling film them, yeah. so like this it stays, but that, uh, because we put the skewer in yeah. and the cling film, yeah. it, the marination is it, better because it, it doesn't it. stay in the shell, it actually goes like oh. in the front where it should be. Fantastic. Expert moves. Just hold the head, just the head, and take the skewer out. We'll put it here. Sahar, you are, as you are well aware, you have been promoted. <laughs> you are also here, it just goes in here, and Miss Panchali will do the, uh, just, on, just on one side, okay? Look at that factory line. After our crossover course, we are now heading into main course. So this is our U5 prawn with uh, Zatar Verde sauce. Please enjoy. Thank you. It's great. It's really good. Very mellow. Yeah. Viewers? I mean, you can't go wrong with grilled prawns. Tiger prawns. Mm. I like the sauce. Mm. That must be like a mixed herb from the garden or something mm -hmm. like that, huh? Very nice. The sauce is just pure herbs made into puree. A little bit of a spice, a little bit of a kick. I'm gonna have the last piece as well. I just don't want to let that shrimp go. So it's not a candle. We figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got, what is it then? No, it's a yogurt. Yogurt. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, what? Salad? No, I mean the. Oh, very nice. Pomegranate. Oh, that's a like a little salad on the side. Ooh, and what are those pickles? There's there's garlic in there. There is some carrots in there. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Wow, that is a big dish. Thank you very much. You have saved all the stomach space for this. Chicken matchbus with achar, cucumber salad, and yogurt. Enjoy. Thank you. The achar is also made chicken house. He has fermented preserves and he's made it. He has learned for many days and weeks. To, so we hope you have done justice to uh, that part of the video in uh, Amazing. In All right, the national dish. Yes. <laughs> this is it. This is the one, guys. The national dish. There we go. With everything on top. Maybe a little bit of yogurt as well. Because you got that salad on top of it. You got a little bit of that pickle. Little bit of that yogurt. What we got? One bite. Here we go. Don't forget to eat with a spoon. Most of the way that normally eat it. You can eat it with anything you want, but over here, everybody will eat rice with the spoon in the right hand 
and the fork in the left hand. And with that, you get those big bites. Oh, that's a nice pickle. And what I want to do is I want to get this nice little onion. Mmm, that's superb. I'm gonna do that rice. So aromatic, so tasty, so good on its own. You don't want to eat the chicken, it's all good. Got those crispy onions on top as well. Ooh, that thing is spicy. Don't forget your salad. Oh, look at that. That's basically like giving somebody a diamond. It's that sp it's special when you get the, the lime, because usually there's only like one or two in the whole pot. So if you get it, it means the host loves you. Thanks, Manchali. All right, let's cut into it. That is a large piece. You don't want to do all of that, but you take a little bit. Get some of that rice with it. Yeah, so what they do is you just basically dry it out completely, and then you just leave it in the sun for like a couple of weeks, and then bring it and cook with it. Take small pieces of it. Usually if you, if you cook it in a stew, the stew goes inside it, and then you take that, you put it on your rice, and you press it, and you get the juice out of it onto your rice. So good. The other thing is, you know the kebab we had earlier? So what they did was they took the dried one, took only the inside, not the skin, and grind it into a powder, powder over the meat. The seed is the bitter thing, exactly. Everything's in it. Yeah. But always the homemade. They take the seed out. Seed out. It's one of those things that in indigenous to this area. Like a lot of people don't do this. They don't dry lime. Yeah. Thing. And by the way, you can go and uh, I bought a, a lime tree, Amani lime tree. I get good lemons, and you could do this with it. It gives you lemons all year. You could have this like at home, easy. So much. Yeah. When he, the shoe child days, when he was doing the all fighting, he was like, who's getting that lemon? Yeah, yeah. I wanted because it's, because at that time we weren't putting the pickles, so we were using those lines, we were all fighting for it, like, hmm, just a little bit of acid tanginess. Yeah. yeah. The test is always how the rice tastes on its own. Mm. Very moist. It's got that bitterness to it, and that bitterness is because of the lime. You got coriander spice, you got saffron in there, you got tomatoes in there. Lots of things. Very nice. And once again, top it off with a little bit of salad. So you can tell mom, mom, I had some greens. <laughs> and that brings us to dessert, which is coming out next. Ooh. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, you have a play on two Imanati dishes. So one is a sago. Uh, which is tapioca pearls that we eat like pudding. Uh, and then the second dish is habbet hamra, which is kind of like custard, and we add fresh to it, and it has a nice texture. So here you have a sago custard uh, with a creme anglaise that has habbet hamra in it, and a nice crust on top, just to give you a little texture. Wow. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Best. <laughs> All right. Yes. So. Show me what you do. Show. Yeah, show, show it to me here. What I would suggest is make a hole in the middle. Take your habat hamra. You can see there's the habat hamra inside. Mix it up. And. Ooh. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. That crust is amazing. Wow, that is sweet pie. That's so good. Mm. That's like a cake and a pie and a, a cookie and, and a pudding all in one. Mm. It's a dangerous dessert, huh? Yes. It's too smooth. You could eat all of it and it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, I already had half. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Oh my god. I mean, I love the way they did it. Yeah. It's just like, you know, the process of it, the process of eating it, when you do it, yeah. you put the, like, you know, the special uh, yeah. thing in it. Yeah. And uh, even the custard itself, the top layer, I mean, I love the custard. It's very nice, right? The crunch. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. 
It's fun to eat. It, it is fun to eat. Yeah, yeah. the texture is interesting to it. Like Let's it. see who loves the dessert the most on the table. Who's eaten the most of the dessert? Hani, you ate the, you ate the top. The top, the crispy part. Oh, that's, that is a great idea. Well, done. mashallah, almost done there. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for you. <laughs> Coming close as well. Definitely save some space, guys. So if you come to this amazing meal, know that something super sweet and nice is waiting for you at the end of the meal. And you do need space because it is, it's not heavy, but it takes space and you are going to like it and you are going to eat a lot of it. So, mm. what an amazing meal. And that is course number eight. And I actually had a very big lunch and I still ate a good amount of all of the courses. I'd say I probably had an average of 70% of everything. Had I not eaten lunch, I would have finished everything. I don't think I would feel heaviness whatsoever. Really, they've done it well. The portions are good. The rice dish at the end, the Mechbus national dish, that's probably the largest portion of the largest course you're going to get. So you do have to make sure that you have space for that. Other than that, everything is perfect in terms of quantity and size and everything like that. So. Fantastic, we're out of here. So, artwork, all done by Tashkil. Ooh, and Tashkil is so, the art studio yeah. right here. We have fishermen tribes, we have uh, people who do falconry, uh, pearl diving and sailing. Oh, uh, beautiful falconry right there. The actual, uh, this is actually Teshki, where Gurgu is, oh. so it's right next to Teshki. Okay. Um, obviously, like horse riding, it's a big part of the UAE's culture. Of course. Camels, Camels of course. Family. And then look at all those palm, like a, a, a palm oasis, and the guy sitting over there. Yeah. Got a little gazelle. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. That's actually so nice. So all the elements that represent the UAE, the culture, the history. Oh, that. going outside over here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Sorry, you good? Yes. What's going on? Hello. How are you? So, this looks like the spot. Look at that. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, there's only ten people that are going to eat tonight. Ten people every night. So, how does yes. it work? Yeah. So, you, you have to register for one of those seats. Yes. So you book oh. in advance, and then you don't know who you're going to sit next to. Oh. And that's the beauty of the supper club, right? Amazing. Uh, oh. It's one of the biggest and most proudest thing about Gurbu is that everything is made in the UAE, yeah. uh, including the chandelier. The plates are made in Tashkil. Everything <laughs> here? This is not made in Tashkil. <laughs> it's all right, this is BTS. This is behind the scenes, it's all good. <laughs> How you doing, Fachali? This is what's so happy. <laughs> actually, that, that's probably my job, actually. Is that why you guys told me to come early? I knew there was something up when you guys said, hey! <laughs> all right. Including the linen that you see on the table, these are all, the menus are printed here, the chandelier is made here. Yeah. This table is custom made in Tashkil also using palm wood. All of this. The plates, everything, your partitions, everything. So it's all proof of concept that it's a Emirati brand, it's locally owned, it's Everything is locally made, uh, and the ingredients are locally sourced. Amazing, and also, chefs <laughs> locally made. <laughs> I think so. Locally sourced. <laughs> so, so here's the thing, right? Like, I've actually been to um, supper clubs where, like, everything was a lot more toned down. You know, actually, there was a lot less narrative behind everything. Obviously, I've never. Been. I've never been, guys, to a supper club where everything was made by the same entity that's running the restaurant. I've never seen that before. And, you know, what they did is they put everything into the food. You know, you sat at the table, you looked at what was in front of you, you ate the food, and you were just constantly imagining all the flavors and, and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, I've been to supper clubs where they tell you the story behind the food and all that sort of stuff. So that was, that was great. But never have I been to a place which is so meticulously done to the T to make sure that when you say, we're an Emirati restaurant, we're an Emirati restaurant through and through. 
and I've never heard that before, chef. You know, I've never heard somebody say proof of concept. That, that's pretty cool, right? But she means everything is Imarati. I love it. I'm dressed in my best kendora, and I'm here to enjoy this amazing meal. Super excited. Thanks, chef. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, even the coasters are made in Tashkir. Wow, that's fantastic. And these are all details of the branding of Tashkir. So it's a little bit of a, uh, of a garbu, so it's a little bit of a glimpse of what's coming in garbu. Amazing. So even the chairs are all made in house. You can see the detailing is the same. You'll see the same patterns going through the restaurant and through different parts of the restaurant. You said this as well this is, the same. is also the same pattern as you have. So you saw this pattern for the coasters. Oh, I and see. you'll see it throughout oh, the food and throughout the dinner. All right, let me show you the outside part. Oh, so there's an outside too. Ooh, look at this. This looks like a your herb garden. Yep, definitely all the herbs that Chef Yunel uses for the supper club menu. Yeah, including some aloe vera in case we burn our hands or something. <laughs> <laughs> so right. we have everything here. We have like coriander, rosemary, uh, mint. Uh, thai basil, Thai. Oh, really? <laughs> oh man, that is so <laughs> aromatic. Oh, Thai basil is amazing. All right, amazing. It looks like mint yeah. over there as well. Yeah, celery. Fantastic. Here, all amazing. You can yeah, grow celery is. here? You can grow celery here? Yep. This. <laughs> I know. Proof of concept. Proof of concept. <laughs> <laughs> I said proof of concept. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Okay. Uh, what what else you guys got here? Is did you now said something the other day that made me laugh? It's the Rolls Royce of barbecues. Whoa, the so Rolls Royce have of barbecue. A marble table with like our storage and everything that we are keeping here. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that. This is this is like a, a Lexus car. I know, right? Where it's like shining down a light with the name at the bottom. It is true. It is the Rolls Royce. Okay. Woo! That's your grill right there. Oh. Woo! Nice and warm on a cold night in Dubai and we're kind of deep in towards the desert of Dubai so it's probably two or three degrees cooler over here that's another incentive for everybody to come yeah. to this place when you want to enjoy an amazing meal all right this is a nice so place it's very chilled out nice place. two of the courses are coming from this two of the courses two of the courses are coming from here so what are we doing today how many courses what's the whole eight courses eight courses and I will let chef you know thank you oh I'm so excited <laughs> Oh, amazing, amazing. <laughs> I mean, give me a little bit of an intro to, to Chef Younel. Where, where, where did you guys find him? I, I wish I had a cooler story. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that I found him on LinkedIn. Oh, okay. No, but it is actually, you found him and you saved him for the right project, right? Yes. You yeah, actually yeah, found him and you thought he had potential. And for like, something else. Mm -hmm. and, but when I started having a conversation with him, and you know, as luck would have it, just six months before that, he came to Dubai just to visit and just to explore and he loved it. And he said, I think Google was kind of, LinkedIn was hearing because we were looking for our chefs and he had been uh, to Dubai and he loved uh, the Middle East and, the, and especially the Emirati culture. Yeah. And he wanted to learn the cooking. Oh, that is amazing. Oh my God. Destiny was working like on overdrive, huh? Excited. Oh man. All right. Another garden right back there. Second also, garden over here. So this is all behind the scenes, peeps. Nobody is here yet. I came super early, got the first look at the table, talking to everybody over here, just to give you guys some background to what's going on. Because, you know, usually I'd show up and I'd eat and you'd see the food and you'd hear the stories, but now you're hearing the stories behind the stories so that you guys get some in-depth looks into this masterpiece that's being built and it's amazing. I'm so excited over here. Yes. How's it going, guys? How are you? This is the head chef, you know. Oh. He's the one that created the entire menu. So you know. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, man. This Amazing. Is his team. Hello. How are you doing, guys? How's it going? How are you? This is my brother. Chef. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Our pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's my pleasure to be here. Chef, where are you from? Originally, I'm from Romania. Oh, nice. But I have lived in Italy, okay. England for 12 years. Oh. New Zealand for one year. 
and now since 1st of May in Dubai. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. I hear you have a lot of uh, accolades as, as well. You've been you know, doing some amazing things around the world. So I'm only doing amazing things because of the people around me. Oh, we are, we are look at that. that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I, I, let, me see the, let me see the fist bump. Ooh. What is it like cooking Emirati food? What is cooking Emirati food? Uh, this is the first of me. My first in, uh, introduction to Emirati food was actually last year because I developed a passion for spices, so I wanted to move to the Middle East. I actually came to Dubai and Ashman and Sharjah to see how the people live, what they eat, go in the markets. I, I, I met this like really old ladies in, in, in Ashman and Sharjah, they were doing like this incredible biscuits. Wow. And I was working at Tunisian style at the moment and I, I thought, oh my God, this is so delicious, the biscuits they found in Ashman. I was like, if they would put a bit more like presentation-wise, a bit more touch, this could easily be, like, I think the pastry in here, I think a lot of the desserts, you actually need to know what you're doing. Amazing. So, like, like for me, the desserts are, like, I was really blown away by the... Oh, fantastic, the fantastic. So, what do you have for us today? What's, what's a, I know it's an eight-course meal. Okay, so this is for our team. When I was hired... Hey, don't talk too much about the menu. You're going to ruin the surprise for Oh, them. we keep some of it? Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay, it's good, that's great. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> He needs a little bit of surprise. <laughs> Thanks, Chef. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. That was awesome. That was fantastic. I can give you a quick preview, but awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. Just, let's just do it. for you. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, whoa! Okay. So this is our yesterday bread with Sunali Connelli. Sunali Connelli is a spice blend made out of blue fenugreek from Georgia. Very unique. This to me is very unique. Very nice, yeah. But yeah. also like resonates with Emirati food because they're yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. That's what I found it very nice. It's amazing. It reminds me of, you know, when you go to a Thai restaurant yes. and they give you uh, the thing that they deep fry, yes. that little, uh, that prawn cracker. Yes, exactly. But it doesn't taste like prawn this at all. Vegan. Yeah, yeah, it's vegan okay, completely. This is vegan, okay? This is we'll just do a very, 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 very quick, everything being made over here. The team is working stuff. away. Okay. Right here, all sorts uh, of stuff. Uh, Come in. We will keep the rest for when it's time to eat because my big sister is saying, get out and wait for the food. Hello. All right. We make some amazing coffee. What's happening? You grinding? Sorry. All right. Grinding Guatemala beans. Sorry, Guatemala beans. Yeah. So, so what's going on? Is there coffee as part of tonight's uh, meal? Yes. Are you doing Arabic or are you doing normal coffee? Okay, we have two kinds of coffee. So I'm serving three kinds of coffee for now. I have a milk base, coffee with the milk, and I'm doing filter coffee. Filter coffee, I have Ethiopian beans. What do you like to try? I'm probably going to try the kombucha, man. Kombucha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you see it's watermelon? And Ooh, look at this color. Look at that. And we get this in the istikana in the same way that you get tea, which is fantastic, very traditional. You get a little plate at the bottom. So that's normally how it's served like that. You get this little plate in the bottom. And by the way, in the olden days, it was not uncommon for people to take this. This was super hot. You got this, you pour into this, and it cools it because of the surface area, and then you drink from there. A lot of people used to do that. Obviously, this is a cold drink, so you don't need to do that, but it's similar to some of the things that are done in India as well. But let me have a little bit of this. Ooh, yum. I love hibiscus, watermelon taste, and ginger. I love all three of those things. Super refreshing, perfect to prepare my stomach for the meal that is about to be. All right, so this is it. We are 20 minutes away from the start of this amazing meal. I'm of course the first one here because I came a long time ago, but we are actually now getting going very soon. The rest of the guests from this table are going to arrive and we're gonna start this amazing journey. I came early as well, so I actually chose this seat right here because of this space over here so that I could put my camera down when I sit and eat so I can get that as well. 
a little bit of a luxury for coming early. <laughs> the team is ready to go and they're all back there. And it is super cool. Look at that. Preparations. A little bit of a taste over here as well. How is it, Kevin? Good? Whoa. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> They're just setting up. It's like a painting. You know, it's one stroke at a time, one color at a time, one flavor at a time with utmost care. Those tweezers, putting everything on, making it look beautiful because it's important that it all meshes together well so when it goes into your mouth on your spoon or your fork, it's a lot of effort going into this, guys. Yes, chef. Oh. Look at that, the dates. Local Some of the finest dates I have ever encountered. Wow, really? Amazing. Yeah, really, really good. So? Wow. Chef, yes. everything was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank you. much. It Thank was you brilliant, coming. really. We loved it. Thank you, Panchali. Fantastic. Yeah, it was amazing, really. You guys, you did such a great job. I loved it. Portions were fantastic. Flavors were fantastic. The adventure of eating was fantastic. Like, everything was really, really, really good. I enjoyed it. I'm so happy. To see and uh, you know, I told you I did have a lunch, which I shouldn't have, <laughs> but I'd say I finished 70% of everything, which is not bad, I think, huh? For, and I, I'm not feeling heavy or full or anything like that. I'm feeling good. You know, so, and I feel like I had a new experience with the food. I really feel that way. It's you, and it's you, and it's, you know, all the right people, yeah, and, and Saha, and you guys. I'm sure you guys will do amazing. No doubt. No doubt. Amazing. Good luck, guys. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sounds good. For sure, for sure. Last shot with the star. We got to come and meet the star. How was it? Fantastic. Dirt Thank you for amazing. coming. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Whoa, get a gift. Whoa, amazing. Get a bit. Oh, that's a heavy gift as well. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye bye. Now. We are truly out.